While people always say Happy New Year when another 12 months start, it seems like such a saying never applies to the K-pop industry. As just within several weeks into 2022, many idols have already stumbled onto misfortunes that just fell out of nowhere. Number 1. Chungmin's sales dropped after getting married In June 2020, Chungmin announced he would get married to a non-celebrity girlfriend. And to the surprise of everyone, his marriage was blessed with lots of good wishes, rather than being clashed with criticism. Some even said Chungmin deserved all the happiness in life because despite being among the top idols in the industry, he barely got into any critical scandals, had always devoted his life to fans and music, before publicly dating and getting married to the girl he has long been dating. So what's the deal that we're exactly talking about? And why is Chungmin on this list? Hasn't everything that happened to him at this point been all the best one could ever wish for? Well, not exactly, because as the saying goes, willing speech but unwilling heart, the fact that most of Chungmin's fans didn't make a fuss over his marriage didn't mean their support remained the same for him. Compared to the 63,800 copies of the album sold in the first week of the chocolate era, the sale of Devil took a deep nosedive, with only 13,900 copies sent away. What's even more mind-blowing was that, out of that total figure, 10,000 copies were pre-ordered, and for the rest of the week, there were only 70 to 1,500 copies sold on a daily average. At first, many were shook, because these two comebacks didn't take place too far from each other. But as they began to trace back what had happened, they figured out that things all started with Changmin's marriage on October 10th. With the story of Changmin, the cruel reality that an idol's career would vanish into thin air after marriage was once again confirmed. Though in recent years, people have been more open to accepting an idol's love life as a private deal. Some pointed out that whether an artist was publicly criticized for getting married their career would still be just as doomed as those candidly hated. And usually, the aftermath of being in love with someone was even more adverse than getting caught up in scandals like drugging or prostitution. Besides, netizens believe Chung Min's story had proven the nature of the K-pop industry was always selling the boyfriend-girlfriend fantasy. And when this rosy dream was ended, apparently the idol's career would also fade away. Number 2. Jenny lost support from Chinese fans. Most recently, Jenny has just been turned back on by her own fans, aka some of the largest fan bases in China to be exact. Apparently, Jenny did nothing wrong, but according to these fans, they could no longer put up with the mistreatment YG Entertainment did with her, and not until Jenny was scheduled to have another solo promotion, they would stop all the support. The main reasons that Jenny Bar, the largest fan base of Jenny in China, and other bases like Baby Blue, Jenna Data Team, and Jenny Project Team, put up for such an escalating situation were not letting Jenny appear on variety shows, not arranging her solo promotions, collaboration tracks, making her the only artist that wasn't mentioned in the 2021 plan of YG Entertainment, and not taking any legal actions against baseless defamation of anti-fans. This announcement was a big shocker to many other fan bases. As for Long, Jenny's fans in China have always been the most generous supporters, and more often than not, the ignorance of Chinese fans would impact the career of an idol in the worst possible way that anyone could imagine. That's why, though these fanbase's actions stem from good intentions, many people are still angry about it because it directly affects Jenny's reputation and career. Number 3. RM was bashed for supporting South Korean Olympic team. The Olympics is the place for professional athletes from around the globe to compete. But as sport gradually holds a more significant role in contributing to national pride, people have taken this event to another level and easily ignite a fire over anything happening along the way. That's why when RM showed his support for the South Korean ice skating team on his Instagram, Chinese netizens immediately got triggered, saying that RM was looking down on Chinese people and indirectly agreed with the allegation that Chinese athletes had played dirty to win the gold and silver medals. So what exactly are the allegations that people are talking about? And why does it have anything to do with the scary reaction that CNET threw at RM? In the semi-final round taking place on February 7th, skaters were required to do a 1,000km race. And for the male category, the South Korean athlete Hwang Daehyun had won. However, it was later announced that Daehyun would receive a penalty, be disqualified from the win, and the medal would be granted to the Chinese athlete which somehow all happened due to undisclosed reasons, leading to a huge outrage among the K community. 
The conflict became even tenser when slow motion footage later showed that the Chinese athlete had physically impacted Daehyun and a Hungarian peer, raising the belief that the prize was rigged and the Chinese team was playing dirty. That's why, when RM showed his support to the South Korean team, CNETs immediately reacted fiercely, accusing him of mocking and disrespecting them. On Instagram, countless insulting remarks were posted by CNETs, where they constantly spammed vomiting emoticons, middle fingers, and called all idols dogs. Number 4. Ningning was bashed for supporting Chinese Olympic team. Besides RM, Ningning was also caught up in the mess deriving from the Olympics. And coincidentally, the scandal also started from her support for the athletes from her own country. After the Chinese team won the gold medal for the short track speed skating race on February 5th, Ningning immediately shared her excitement with fans on Bubble, saying that she didn't expect the winners of such a big prize were her alumni. Plus, she also recognized the hard work of other athletes, saying everyone deserves respect, and even sent well wishes for other countries. However, because of the inherent antipathy between South Korea and China, Ningning's words were distorted and put out of context. Using the February 7th allegation where Chinese athletes were accused of rigging the game, some malicious K-Nets immediately took their chance to bring Ningning down, fabricating the story that Ningning still supported her homeland sport team, regardless of their dirty play, and she is currently making money thanks to South Korea. Some even said that her action had ulterior motives, and despite being a rookie, her betrayal nature had already shown clear. As if that wasn't cruel enough for a 19-year-old girl, some even hacked her private Instagram, leaking her following list, showing the identities of her close connections, just to throw shade on her for not following senior artists from the same company, like NCT 127, Jaemin, and Irene. Number 5. Tempest tested positive for COVID-19 right before debut. Amid the gloomy scene of the K-pop industry, Tempest's debut was initially believed to light up the sky. But as life is always full of unexpectedness, the whole group was announced to test positive with COVID-19 right when there were just seven days left until their debut. On February 12th, Yuhua Entertainment announced a new stroke like a bolt from the blue, saying that all seven members of their upcoming act Tempest would halt all activities due to testing positive for COVID-19. Though all members were said to only have mild symptoms, fans were still extremely worried as the post-COVID effects could take a toll on their health, especially during the hectic schedule of the debut time. Number 6. Jackson and Yuki were dragged into a messy dating scandal. After Jackson and Yuki joined Keep Running Together in 2021, many have found lots of hints that the couple could have had something more than just mere friendships. Though the dating has never been confirmed by insiders, on February 22nd, a Chinese blogger published a video showing Yuki getting taken to Jackson's house by his manager. This blogger also revealed that Yuki then spent the night at Jackson's house. And when coming back to her hotel in the morning, she was seen holding a bouquet of red roses, further consolidating the belief that the two were dating. And that was the farewell gift to Yuki before she came back to South Korea. As if that news wasn't shocking enough, the blogger continued revealing the following day that, around 15 days after Yuki had left the country, Jackson invited two strange girls to his house in the middle of the night, implying that he had been cheating on Yuki for a long time. However, there was one thing this blogger didn't expect, which was that, while the dating news wasn't met with opposing opinions, the cheating allegation immediately saw fierce reactions from Jackson's fans. According to them, the blogger was very likely lying because the video was messily edited had lots of illogical scenes, the clothes of Yuki didn't look similar to the girl in the clip, and the license place of Jackson's manager also suspiciously changed. As Jackson's studio also swiftly took legal actions to the privacy invasion of the blogger, claiming that the two girls were only there for a friend gathering and the blogger had been using misleading words to lead the public by the nose, fans of Jackson and Yuki had even more reasons to believe that the blogger was holding some ulterior motive to ruin the upcoming comeback of G-Idol. So, do you still think being an idol is a desirable career, when even at the beginning of the year, they already got into a bunch of the silliest troubles? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us! Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to BeBossTV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!